and this is the G major 7 and what I'm doing is playing the root with the first finger The second and third, the, the uh, second finger, I'm playing the raised seventh degree, and the third uh, finger, I'm, I'm playing the B, which is the third degree. And you can also play it like this. First finger, third finger, I'm playing the fifth. And second finger, I'm playing the raised seventh degree. Leaving out the third. And here we're playing the G major seven. On the 19th fret with the fourth finger, second finger I'm on the raised seventh degree, which is F sharp, and the first finger I'm on the root. And here's another way you can play the G major seven. Playing the root with the second finger, first finger I'm playing the third which is B, third finger playing the F sharp, raise seven. And you can also play the G major seven like this. And I'm playing the root with the second finger, first finger playing the B. So play the G major 7 like this. Playing the root with the first finger on the tenth fret. Third finger I'm playing the fifth, which is D. Starting with the first finger on A, which is the ninth. The second finger, we're playing the root, which is G. Third finger, we're playing the F sharp. And the fourth finger, we're playing the D. second finger and I'm barring the third and the ninth degree with the first finger so I'm barring the third and I'm barring the A so I'm barring these two playing the root with the uh, second finger and then with the third finger I'm playing the raised seventh degree This is the G major 7, sharp 11. Now what I'm doing here is I'm playing the root with the 
first finger on the 15th fret. Second finger I'm playing the raised 7th degree, F sharp. And the 4th finger I'm playing the raised 11th degree. And this is the G6 chord. And what I'm doing here is playing the root with the second finger. The first finger, I'm playing the sixth degree, which is E. And the third finger, I'm playing the third degree, which is B and the fourth finger I'm playing D. Well, I hope you got a lot out of this video. Keep practicing these chords and transpose them to different keys. We covered the keys of C and some of G. But you want to really play these in all keys and really become familiar with them and also listen to the chord as you're playing it. So until next time, this is Eric Petri for Studio Bass Player.
Thank you. 